Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And one of the things I've always been looking for in Las Vegas is Indian food. So we searched Yelp and we found the highest rated Indian food place in Las Vegas. Mount Everest India's Cuisine. We had to leave the strip to find this one, so. Let's go. Here we go. Here's a quick little look at the menu. Lots of good appetizers. Soup, salad, tandoori's, chicken. Some noodles. Uh, entrees with meats. We're gonna get a few of those. Lots of vegetarian entrees if you're looking for that. And of course, they've got naan, so we're gonna get a good helping of this stuff. So there used to be a buffet here, but it is not currently open since COVID. But that doesn't matter much to us, because we already know what we're gonna order. All right, the food has arrived. So starting off with some rice. We did get a garlic naan and a chili garlic, garlic chili naan. naan yeah. Um, and then we have shrimp sock. Let me turn that around. Let's see what it looks like. This looks so like I swear what we it eat looks at like home. baby poop. It but does, but I see shrimps in there. There they are. These are our go-to dishes oh, at home. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And now we've got chicken korma, which has more of a coconut style. And then we've got chicken tikka masala, which is the classic one. And we're gonna take that naan and dip it right into all yeah, these sauces. Yeah, I just want the sauce. And eat oh. the heck out of them. Are you ready? <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so I my favorite way to eat Indian food, honestly, is just to start with the naan bread and go ahead and dunk it in my favorite sauces. So these are these three sauces are very different. You can see this one is more of a tomato base, this one has more coconut, and then this one is more of a spinach base. We do like the chicken for two of them, which in past places we've seen where the chicken tikka masala ends up being chicken breast, and then it's chicken thighs in the korma. So it still gives a bit of a different taste and a texture for you. But I'm gonna try this chicken, chicken tikka masala first. That's very good. Definitely has a slight tomato flavor. It's not like it's you're eating tomato sauce or anything. Not like, not like pizza sauce or spaghetti sauce. I say it looks a little thin, is it? No, everything's, okay. it's a decent thickness. Good. I'm gonna try the korma though. This is usually my favorite dunker. That's yeah, super good. <laughs> it's very hard to describe without, um, just, I mean, I don't know all the Indian spices, mm -hmm. but I will tell you, it's got a lot of good seasoning, super aggressive flavoring. What do you think of the what we like. naan? The Can naan you is, tell which one you got? I'm struggling to tell the difference between the naan because we did want to get a chili garlic and a garlic. I'm not sure which is which because uh, you can see they kind of put them on top of each other. I think I the guess garlic would be chili the, is supposed to be yeah. hotter. So there's a little bit of pepper, mm -hmm. it looks like, on this one. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, there is a little different way to say. See, but they're all in the same dish. Overall, I really like it so far, though. Good. All right, so as Josh said with his, he likes to dip my favorite, since he introduced me to this stuff, is this green spinach. It's the shrimp sog. Oh. It, I know, it looks so yeah, gross. <laughs> it does not look the greatest, but oh my god, it is. Mm. <laughs> Good? Yeah. So, it's a little bit off the strip, but I think we found the Indian. 
Good. We, oh. have, we have been looking. There's some, some heat. heat to it. Mm -hmm. Good. That's good. That's really tasty. All I right. really like that. Let's dig in. Ready? All right. So here is the shrimp. The shrimp are not very big. Um, ones that we have at home typically are about double the size of that. But in reality, it's all about the sauce. Yeah, it, it is all about the sauce. And for some reason, I always feel better eating this stuff with a spoon. Give it a try. See if there's a difference <laughs> for you. But. And I will tell you, there is a little bit of heat on this garlic chili naan. I can taste it. It's good, though. It's not overpowering at all. No, and this was all at medium, which is what they're going to give you if you don't ask for anything different. Mm -hmm. But you can do it with the bread. You can do it with the rice. The rice does come with it. All right, we just finished up here at Mount Everest, and I gotta say, this was worth the trip. It was. All right, let's talk about transportation. So we did take Lyft to get here. How much did it cost? I think it was like $13 from the wind, so yes. not bad at all. Which we are staying north end of the strip, yep. so if you're at the north end, it's it's gonna be 10 to $15 to get here. I thought that the food was very, very good. Oh, it was so good, and like, this is one of Josh's comfort foods is, is the Indian cuisine and my goodness it just hits that it's so homey it was so tasty yeah I feel like I've been searching for this kind of food for years here in Vegas yeah and so I was really glad to find it um, honestly my favorite dish well my favorite thing is generally naan. the <laughs> naan bread is so good it's so hard to <laughs> not be your favorite yes. like it's so tasty the chili was a little bit spicier than I was going for which mm -hmm. is I mean you expect it to be spicy but right. it is a, a bit hot um, but I liked it with the korma. The korma was my favorite. It is chicken thighs in there and the sauce, it's like a cashew coconut oh. um, curry. It's so good. Well, and we need to mention that all three dishes have a distinctive different flavor. So Quite. that's what the nice part is. I really liked the chicken tikka masala this time, which is surprising to me because I haven't always, it hasn't always been on my favorites list, yeah. but I liked it better with the rice. Now with the naan bread, I gotta go with the shrimp sog. <laughs> that stuff's so good. <laughs> Uh, we actually had planned on getting a dessert, but honestly, yeah. everything was so good. We were like, we just want to eat all we of it. We just want to eat it and all. And so we finished up our dishes and we were not going to do dessert. So <laughs> No dessert today for lunch anyhow. But if you are looking for Indian food here in Las Vegas, I say you come check out Mount Everest. And honestly, for the price, it was $85 for three entrees, three or two breads and two big Two big, big beers. beers. Yeah. yeah, those beers could easily be shared. Yep, exactly. Um, if you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Thank you.